Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus took with him Peter and James and John and led them up a high mountain where they could be all alone by themselves. There in their presence he was transfigured. His clothes became dazzlingly white, whiter than any earthly bleacher could make them. Elijah appeared to them with Moses and they were talking with Jesus. Then Peter spoke to Jesus, Rabbi, he said, it is wonderful for us to be here. So let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses and one for Elijah. He did not know what to say. They were so frightened. And a cloud came covering them with a shadow. And there came a voice from the cloud. This is my son, the beloved. Listen to him. Then suddenly, when they looked around, they saw no one with them anymore, but only Jesus. As they came down the mountain, he warned them to tell no one what they had seen until after the Son of Man had risen from the dead. They observed the warning faithfully, though among themselves they discussed what rising from the dead could mean. The Gospel of the Lord. I don't think the subject of COVID is anyone's favourite subject. I think I'm right in saying that. And therefore, it's a very bad starting point for a conversation or a very bad starting point for a homily as well. But I want to suggest something about COVID that, that may make us more aware of what we need to do. And believe it or not, I'm supposing that we need a bit more silence, a bit more alone time and a bit more me time. Let me explain because after COVID, we had no choice, but we were alone. We couldn't actually be out there with anybody. And we had the, the virtual media, social media, which was fantastic. We were able to communicate with people in that way, but it wasn't the same as having someone beside you or someone even to hug. We had that alone time, which was not good. I am supposing that alone time is good is very good and as Christians and as us Catholics as we journey through Lent we need to flick a switch on to say alone time is good time because alone time is what Jesus wants with you and what Jesus wants with me and what Jesus wanted with Peter and James and John they went up a high mountain so they could be alone so Click that switch in your head to say alone time is good time and me time is good time. If you are a follower of Jesus, if you are a friend of Jesus, if you are a lover of Jesus, then we need to spend time with the Lord Jesus. We need to get away from all that preoccupies us, all that distracts us, all that worries the life out of us to go and be with Jesus. To spend time with the Lord alone and peacefully and quietly and prayerfully. Bear in mind that Jesus wanted Peter, James and John for them to be alone with Jesus because he wanted it to be an intimate time. He wanted it to be a peaceful time. He wanted it to be a focused time. And in this example up the mountain, he wanted it to be a teaching time. So when we are alone with Jesus, Jesus wants to have an intimate time with us. We want to have an intimate time with the Lord. Jesus wants us to have a peaceful time with us. And Jesus wants to have a focused time with us. And there are times, and maybe it's just once in a blue moon, when something magnificent will happen and our minds are blown away, as were the disciples' minds today up the mountain when the dazzlingly white clothes became something that, oh, my goodness, what's happening here? Jesus made that a time of teaching for Peter, James and John. When you think of being alone with the Lord Jesus, I would say one of the important things is to be aware of our breath,
Make sure that your breathing is peaceful. Take deep breaths. Breathe in the Spirit of God and then breathe out everything in your life that's contrary to God. Breathe in the Spirit of the Lord and breathe out everything that is not of God in your life at any given moment of prayer. It's a wonderful exercise of prayer. It's a wonderful experience of aloneness, but not aloneness of nothingness, aloneness with the Lord Jesus. Our Lent journey is to help us become closer and closer and closer to the Lord Jesus. Our Lent journey is supposed to enable us to have the strength to announce the gospel and to live the Christian life and to be apostles and good followers of the Lord Jesus. We can only do that if we have the alone time, the quiet time, the intimate time with the Lord Jesus. So make another resolve for this land. You maybe already made it or you maybe already do it very well now. And that's wonderful if you do continue. But if you don't spend some time alone with the Lord Jesus, even if it's just five minutes, five minutes is nothing, is nothing. Spend five minutes with the Lord Jesus today and tomorrow and the day after and the day after. Make sure that you live this Lent for a purpose and the purpose is this, to become the person that the Lord Jesus wants you to be. God bless you and enjoy this second Sunday of Lent.